Does a horror screenplay have its own structure? To me, regardless of genre, they're all gonna have this, you know, whatever structure you wanna give it. Every film I've told, if you wanna break structure, you can. I think as long as you know the rules, you can break the rules. So there's times where I've written screenplays that are broken into three acts. There's times where I've written screenplays that are broken down into between six and eight key plot points. Um, and those, to date, for me, have crossed all genres, not horror specific. So no, I, I wouldn't say that horror has its own structure. I mean, but one of the great things about writing is there's, again, I think if you know the rules, you can break the rules, is uh, I've seen scripts that break the usual three act structure and they don't follow the usual beats and they're amazing. <laughs> I wish they would get made. Um, they are just, some of them are just, gosh, I don't wanna say meandering has a negative connotation, but they just are flowing along on their own trajectory and you don't know where it's gonna go because you're, I think most people are trained at the usual pacing, certainly with Hollywood films. They follow certain acts, certain key points, there's a certain flow to it that a lot of, most of our big hit movies, if you break them down, you go, oh my God, it's almost to the page. They follow these formulas. Um, some of these scripts that I've read don't do that. Not all of them are great, but the ones I have read that are great, very brave in the sense they went, I'm just gonna write what I'm gonna write and you can like it or not, but very clever, very, very clever. No discernible break between X and, and no discernible structure in the way you usually would think about it, but very clever stuff. Then is there any parts of um, writing horror that differs in terms of um, the, the actual you know, dynamics of screenwriting? I mean, I get it, you're trying to have a scare, a kill, something every so often, but other than that? It's... No, I mean, again, each writer has to attack each project, you know, depending on what the needs of that story are. But in my experience, structure is a structure, a story is a story. It can be dramatic, it can be scary, it can be funny, but you're kind of following the same rules to tell a classic story. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, I don't remember them all anymore, but someone had mentioned that there's you know, you basically have only three or four primary stories that we ever tell. This love story and so on and so forth, not very many. We dress them up differently and we created these different genres, but the stories pretty much were all used to the same basic structure.